Good morning everyone. Hello to the Beauty Room family, new subscribers and all. Today is July 29th, 2024 and the time now is 10 28 a.m. here in the Beauty Room and today is all about me cleaning cleaning my makeup brushes. So we're going to get right into it but before I get right into it make sure you turn on or hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me the Beauty Room. And also make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's totally free when you do. And if you already hit that subscribe button, thank you so much. And welcome, welcome to the Beauty Room family. God bless you all. I hope you all had a wonderful and joyous weekend with your family, friends, your significant other, your partners, ladies and, and men. And enjoyed it with your children also as well. And it's getting back to work week as an adult so I understand trust me so today's video is all about me cleaning up my makeup brushes and what products I use to clean up my makeup brushes with um, I don't have any sponges because I already cleaned those just a few days ago but next video I'll do a video on how I clean up my beauty sponges so that way if you want to see that video or not um, I'll still post it and so that way you can see it and make sure you sit back relax grab yourself a delicious breakfast or snack tell me to drink of your choice and take notes if you want to see if uh, these products if you can find them which I'm sure you truly can so the mainly two products is I mostly use for my makeup brushes is this is the um, Dr. Bronner's 18 in 1 peppermint pure cast soap this is what I definitely use and this is what I'm almost down to I'm almost done with using this but I always have a backup as a backup so I, I have an extra one too in the 32 fluid ounce this is runs between 16 to 20 dollars just about you can find this at your local Target or Walmart this is what I use for all you up for only my makeup brushes and the next item is after when I'm done cleaning up my makeup brushes I take this alcohol and I take some a few paper towels you know to clean up the ends of the brush handles which is right here to you know to sanitize them and get them clean before I use them and also when I buy makeup brushes from like Target or Walmart or look online which is my favorite um, website to shop on for affordable makeup brushes is definitely is shop miss a None of this, this video is not sponsored by Shop Miss A or it's just with my very own money and this is what I use, the products I use and this was like under $5 so you can get you a couple of these. This is the Equate um, Alcohol from Walmart. It's the 91% alcohol. This is what I use um, just to clean up my makeup brush handles as well and then that is basically it. So and then I have a microfiber towel but you can use a like a hand towel or a body towel to roll up your towel. I'll show you that too at the end of the process. So let's get started. And also I'll be right back because I forgot my makeup mat. I'll be right back. You so range defense you can take out the um so if you can hear tap, um, if you sorry, if you can hear Hamilton in the background, he's playing his video game with a few of his, you know, a few of his friends. So this is the makeup mat that I use to clean up my makeup brushes. You can definitely get this like at your local um, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or Ross, or you can get it at um, like Walmart. I don't know about Target, but I know those mainly stores like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, and Burlington maybe if they have these. I'm sure they do, but you can always just check. And then online too is at Shop Miss A for like between a dollar to a dollar eighty eight. You can also check too at www.shopchorrie.com. And you can definitely get these a couple of these as well from that site that's very affordable too as well so let's get started into cleaning up my makeup brushes but I just want to sh um, show you this this has wash eyes and then it says um, cleany matte um, express brush and then it says wash face you know and then this one says rinse face right here and then this one says rinse eyes and then this one says express brush so if you have like your foundation um, rounded flat kabuki brushes 
um, or your angle brush you can use that for that so this is what these the bristles are that's what the says on here so let's get started so we're going to get right into it I'm going to turn you back around to how I had you before but I just want to let you know of the process of how I clean up my makeup brushes so let's get started so this is my sink here and this is how I place my mat you can see that I hope can you see that okay so this is my mat here I just press it down really really good oh also oh I don't need that it's like if you want to make sure like um, your water won't leak out that we don't have to constantly constantly um, put water and rinse you know take it out, rinse it out you can definitely use your sink stopper if you want it's totally up to you um, so but that's up to you but what I do is I mainly put my water on like warm about like that good amount it feels really good so I make sure I wet up my makeup mat get it wet a little bit turn that off then I apply just some of this just a couple of dashes of it that's good enough just to get it started then I take about four of my makeup brushes you know for my eyes wet them I take each one and I just clean it just like that set it aside clean again then also when you do this you don't want to waste water so this is just how I do this is the process of how I clean up my makeup brushes but you know to each his own so yeah that's how I just get them I just get them soaky wet so far yep and this is just how I clean them get them clean sanitized And these brushes are from Shop Miss A and like um, Shein. So those two are my favorite sites to get affordable makeup brushes because sometimes with Shein, I mean with the Shop Miss A, you can get a whole set for under twenty dollars. Yes, very affordable. Like like under twenty dollars is like ten between ten dollars and ten eighty eight. You can get you a couple of a sets of them, and it also comes with a case bag too as well. You know, so you can definitely take that with you if you're going traveling, or you're a makeup artist, you know, or you're a beginner makeup, per, you know, person, and you want some some makeup brushes. I totally get it. And, and every time when I do buy a, a few brushes, you know, from TJ Maxx or Ross or Marshalls, I come home immediately and wash them because I want to use some new makeup brushes, you know. So when I have, to have a, like a makeup tutorial, all my brushes is, um, is clean. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> okay. So this is for the face. And I just... Use that like that, but this is put it like right in here because this is where you to get it all clean and stuff. This one was dirty. Ooh. Oh, very, very dirty. Try to get this one out the way. And that's what I do. I make sure I just rinse out the soap of it. And this brush is by e.l.f. So I definitely buy, you know, Shop Miss A brushes, Shein brushes, or e.l.f. brushes. Or when I go to, like I said, when I go to TJ Maxx or Marshalls or Ross, I try to get like the Japanese brush, the makeup brushes, you know, for your, for your eyes and your face, you know. I love getting those brushes. I haven't had any of those brushes in a long, long time. So I definitely got to go in that store and get some because we do have a Ross in our area of where we live so yeah that would be my next stop one of these days someday and you just rinse off I just wanted to rinse this off and show you how what I do make sure you, you gotta definitely make sure 
the soap is definitely out of your makeup brushes because if you don't I mean when your makeup brushes is completely dry within 48 hours or 72 hours you know they're gonna you're gonna have that soapy you know studs in your brushes and you don't really want that at all so I'm just taking my time of really trying to get my makeup brushes clean very well and I love using elf makeup brushes and also too if you don't want to try the Dr. Barnas 18 in 1 um, pure cast pure cast oil soap you can you know go to your also um, your also beauty store and get you know a good brand of makeup brush cleaner you can definitely do that because they do have some really good makeup brush cleaners as well as to get your makeup brushes clean and also they have some for your beauty sponges too um, I believe it's all in one so yeah but that's how I get it started of rinsing my makeup brushes very very good so I gotta clean I gotta rinse these other ones out take them all just like that because they already have the soap on them all I have to do is rinse them out really make sure they're all soapy out rinse them out one more time just to make sure and I, and I actually love doing this, you know, the cleaning my makeup brushes. Because this is a definitely good idea thing to do when you have makeup brushes. So if you are going to apply some makeup to your face, to your own face. Or if you have a couple of friends, you know, you do their makeup for whichever, for prom or a dance, you know, whichever. Junior dance, sophomore dance, which, or whichever, you know. And, you know, and you're really, really good at it. You also, you definitely want to make sure your makeup brushes is definitely clean. And also, if you're going to cosmetology school, you know, you got to make sure your makeup brushes is clean. So these are the brushes that I love using from Elf, Shop Miss A, and Shop Cherry. And this, this right here, this is a good brush too. This is from Shein. It's a whole set. I want to say between ten to twelve makeup brushes. I have to find the rest of them but which I know I have them so I like to put my my makeup brushes in order I can set sometimes but you can also if you have some really cute containers from like Target Walmart Marshalls TJ Maxx or Ross you know some cute makeup brushes you know holders you know glass holders or whatever or even you know like a like a medium-sized jar I'm just saying for an example I'll say like something like this but this is for flower but I'm just saying if you have something like this that would be so cute to put your makeup brushes in but you know um, like something real girly pink you know that says hello hello gorgeous or like a hello kitty um, coffee cup but you're using that just only for your makeup brushes or you can get you like a nice rounded big tall glass from Dollar Tree also as well for $1.25 and get you a few of those and put your only your eye makeup brushes in those if you want and then sometimes you know in the bags you know in the separate um, section I think like their arts and crafts section that they have at Dollar Tree you can definitely get you a couple of bags of those like those rock salts and put your makeup brushes in those make them all cute you know and you know you know designable whichever so let's continue on with cleaning up my makeup brushes. I just wanted to give you a few ideas and tips. You know, so we're gonna take these, rinse them out, and this brush is the it's like a smudge. It's a smudge brush, but so this is the the E one one eight brush. This goes underneath your eyes when you apply your makeup palette of the same palette you put on your eyelids this is very good it's kind of hard but be careful as you put this underneath your eye but you can also use a flat brush something like this and rub this underneath your eyes to get that ideal look that you want for underneath your eyes so let's clean up these makeup brushes put your soap on them okay so now I'm going to just rinse them off but now I'm going to actually clean up that makeup mat. I'm not going to use that soap anymore because I used it three times already. A couple times. Yeah, about, no, three, uh, twice. I'm sorry. Three, twi um, twice. Two, two, three times I used it. I don't want to use it no more. So it's all dirty and yucky. So I don't want to use that no more. But these are my makeup brushes. So I have to clean them. So let's clean up my mat. So I'm going to pour some more nice soap on here. Okay. 
So when you peel this off, and off from your sink, make sure you just be careful. Take your time with it. Okay, we're just going to apply some soap. And clean up the other makeup brushes. Get this wet a little bit. Alright, not too much. Okay, so I'm going to take four. And also I have some for Wet n Wild. This makeup brush here is, you can see that is from wet and wild i got this whole entire set from like the website of wet and wild or you can definitely go to your local dollar tree they should have the wet and wild brushes because i love these brushes because it has the pink br bristles on it and then it's all white too so yeah then you can also get some makeup brushes too from your five the low store very affordable you know for your dollar wallet and coins you can definitely find some cute affordable con um, containers for your makeup brushes to put your eye eye makeup brushes in and then another container for like your face you know for your powder foundation you can separate them you know or you can look onto Amazon too as well and you can get you a three I think it's a three container it's square it's all square and it's straight you know or you can get your round or whichever whichever is convenient for you how you want to you know organize your makeup room but yeah that that would be nice too so that's affordable too as well i forgot to mention that in the beginning but yeah you can definitely check out that um you can go to that store as well also as well the five below and then now my makeup brushes are clean so we're going to get these other ones and this brush is from shop miss a this is the face um, i'm sorry f19 this is for your for your setting powder so this is a very good brush or it can be used for your highlighter so i use this for my i actually i use this for my setting powder but this fan brush right here is the f17 this is for your highlighter so yes so let's wash these brushes with these rinse water on them so i know that they're clean and ready to to get clean And these brushes, I haven't really used these brushes because I have an everyday set to use. But I like to change up every once in a while on trying to, you know, use different brushes. But I really like the Shop Miss A brushes because they're affordable. You can definitely get them for under $20 or you can get you two of them. Um, you can get you like the AM and PM or you can get you just a whole entire set that comes with a case for under $20. You can get you two of them for $20 and some change. That would be a great idea to do if you're a beginner in like makeup. Even if you're not a beginner in makeup, you know, you can definitely get you some affordable makeup brushes that works very good for yourself or for your clients that you have, you know. Okay, so let's rinse these off. So now these are for my face. So we're going to clean these makeup brushes. Yep, so we're going to clean these makeup brushes right here. So let's get started in cleaning these makeup brushes. Okay. And then also, I got some makeup brushes too from Sigma. Uh, is it from Sigma? From Sigma um, before they had shut their um, before they shut their um, production or uh, you know online store closed. So I made sure I got some brushes, but not a whole lot. Maybe about four to five brushes, maybe or less than that. So yeah, Oops. but yeah, very clean. I like how it's clean. So let's. Rinse it off. I mean, not Sigma. This is Coastal Sense. I'm sorry. This is Coastal Sense. Yeah, this is the brush that I got before they had shut down. Not Sigma, but I. But I do want to get me some Sigma brushes too one of these days. That'd be nice. So that's how my makeup brushes are clean. And 
And this one, I got this from Shein. I know I did because I like the pink bristles of it. And plus it's, um, it's modeled. Look at this girl. I like this cute makeup brush. Okay, so four more to go. So, since we already used this water twice, I'm done. I try not to use it no more than twice because I like to have, you know, new cleaning water. Um, I mean, new water and then new soap to definitely use, you know, for my makeup, my bigger makeup brushes. So, that's that one. I like to make sure I get it all in there, the bristles, make sure it's really good and soap. I do it a couple times. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to show you an example of what I do afterwards when I'm done cleaning up my makeup brushes. Remember with the alcohol I was telling you? I'm going to show you how I, I clean them. I'm just going to just do my face brushes. It's going to take me a minute to do my eye brushes. But I'm going to do that off camera. You know, later on today. Probably after this video is packing, it has something thought productive to do, which I am. I'm so proud of myself. I am doing a video. I love doing my videos. And I love to, to do videos for you all because you're the Beauty Room family. And I'm, I'm so appreciate, so appreciate, appreciate up to you all. I appreciate you all so much. This is a brush that I got from Shein. So this is the purple brush with the clear so if you can see it so cute and then let's go do this one this one is from shopless a i never had like a brown set before like this so i really enjoy i haven't used this brush yet but i really enjoy using this brush but this brush is by urban studio from shop miss a so very affordable Okay, so since let's just pretend all my makeup brushes is clean. So now I'm going to take my makeup brushes, the big ones that I just did all four of them. Take some paper towel. Have right here. Or you can take a like a face towel that you use, you know, because you're going to do laundry, you know, later on. So this is just what I do. Just take a little spurts of the alcohol and wipe down the the end of the, your makeup brushes because when you use them you you know you know your brushes your brushes the handles are clean and sanitized so like that and like that so that is the end of the video of me cleaning up my makeup brushes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a lot of likes. Thumbs it up also as well. Please tell your family and friends all about the beauty room. So if they are considering subscribing, it's totally free, free, free when you do. And if you already hit that subscribe button and that notification bell, thank you so much. Hugs, hugs, hugs to you all. God bless you. Thank you all. Have a blessed and joyous week. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.